Kane. There's no, there's no. If we get Harry Kane, we should win the league. I will say that right now. If United bring in Harry Kane, if that happens, United absolutely have become the favorites to win the league. I, I, I'll say that right now. If, uh, if we get Amrabat, I expect it's a challenge. I think Arsenal are the favorites. It's stupid to say they're not. Um, as much as I don't want them to be, I think at this stage. Well, wait, Arsenal... Man City. Do you think we're favorites? Yes, yes, I think Arsenal are the favorites. Okay. Um, and I, 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 I like. I stand. I stand by. I think it's a lazy take to just say City is going to win it. You have to take a look at everything that's happened. You have to think about there's something that happens in sport when you do win a lot, when you do win everything, when you complete the sport. Like there is a bit of a complacency that sets in and City's been able to avoid it because they've always had to go for that Champions League, right? That's always been the, they need that. They want it now. Now what, right? The 4P, cool, but no one's ever done a 4P. And there's a reason no one's ever done it because that's an extremely hard thing to do. Um, and if they do do it, kudos, power to them. But I, I think based on what we've seen, if you Arsenal about get... the trouble though, Cam. Yeah, the trouble, the trouble one was a. Uh, it happens for the trouble. That's not behind sight here. No, no, no. But that's trouble got here. And was saying it's very hard to do. They is, don't they? haven't got Champions League pedigree, and they went and did it. And no one talks about it, obviously because it's City and the money and all that. But <laughs> everyone would have said the same thing before that happened. No, no, no. I agree. I listen. I don't disagree with you on that one. That that was. But the thing is, it was that Champions League was that final piece that they needed, and I think City was so focused on getting it. Like we had, we had no chance in the FA Cup final. Like we all knew that. We were just there to hope and prayer to stop them. But we had, we weren't going to win that. Um, so for me, it's like I think the four P. When you look at what's happening around the league, this is why I'm saying the four P is going to be hard. Arsenal have gotten better. Let's not play around. They have gotten better. Um, they. I think if you go and get Raya, he's gonna he might oust Ramsdale. He might he might he we'll, we'll get on to that. Later. We'll get on to that. But I think yeah, yeah, I'm we'll just saying you've got Declan Rice and so I'm saying all these players came into Arsenal, they were second, they were there and thereabouts, they have another year under their belt, they understand they can't fall off. You have United now. Now United I'm not afraid to say it. United like there's gonna be a lot of United fans who are gonna be like, Oh, we shouldn't be challenged. I think we should challenge. I'm not saying we should win the league. I'm not saying that by no means, but I'm saying. So you're saying should... top three, definitely. I'm saying United, without a doubt, locked in top three, and like, a, like we're gonna have a fun league next year where there will be moments where people will probably be having that conversation, being like, "Are United favorites?" I'm not saying we are. I'm being very clear on my statement here. Challenging does not mean I'm saying United is going to win the league. I'm saying you're going to see a team that's going to score more goals. That now, if Casemiro goes out and we get Sofia and Amrabat. There's no stress there. I'm not sitting there being like, okay, well, Scott, Fred, good luck. <laughs> go, good luck. Like we're, you know, when you have when you have a player like Casemiro go out for seven games, and basically each one of those seven games, we we thought we have no chance of winning. Now, if Sophie and Amrabat comes in, there's no for me. It's like yes, there's a drop off, but it's not significant. If okay, Bruno, one, one log over now. It's been thirty minutes, but let's get to nitty gritty. <laughs> right, let's get to nitty gritty because you've gone on about a lot of spiel. And you said the Champions League comment, which has triggered me. I'm triggered. So now I'm going to trigger you now. <laughs> right, ready? What, so you won the what? You won the League Cup last year. How many yeah. points did you had in Arsenal? I think you were nine points behind Arsenal. Um, 12 points. 14, 13 points behind City. Yep. So you believe you can close that gap, right? I believe we can. Don't you need to improve on that from last season? I don't think getting just top three is good enough for you lot. I, I don't think... care how it happens. You've got... You have to at least... In my, if Arsenal's expectation is to go far in the Champions League and to win the league slash compete for the league, yours, mm. if you get Amrabat, should be obviously compete for the league. But also in the Champions League, you guys have pedigree in the Champions League. So yeah. I don't see why there's like some like, oh, if we get top three in challenge. We, we haven't been in the Champions League properly for like how long? Like, let's not, we have yeah. pedigree, but like, I'm going to be fair, Chess. Don't forget that he's right, though. No, but you know, yeah. people say Arsenal can't do it because they haven't got the pedigree and it's a big jump. Man, yeah, but just, to, the, to challenge for both the league and the UC, that's a big ask. That's a huge for ask. For the, <laughs> especially when Tenag has an event. He's been there only for what, one season. Like, I'll tell you, that's a completely different scenario. He's been there for now. How long? Five. He's been there for just, yeah, uh, and he's uh, been there for but I, but I do remember, I do remember, Cam, not necessarily you, mm. but there were certain other Man United fans who, when, City, when United beat City... They were like, we're challenging this season, last That's year. I'm saying. And then, that, and, that, and then, we, and hey, hey, hey. also, also, kind of also, that. yeah, also, this oldie uh, needs to get more, more flipping. 
you, the man's been 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 a manager for ten seasons. Come on, we gotta be putting more pressure on him. No, than no, no, you don't have, no. Here's the thing. Okay, I don't. This we'll whole gets away I, with this, man. I, I, I find this hilarious because now that okay, we've signed some players. We had it's all of a sudden put all no, the no, 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 no. Yo, Cap, 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 I agree with you. 400, 400 million ish. That's in, not the right number. It's coming. 360 something. All right, but it will be 365. It's gonna be like 400 million by the by the end of the summer. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I lo- I enjoy it. Like this me this is how I know we're back because all of you are all of a sudden saying we have you don't it's year two. It is year two for a manager who is about to integrate like six new players, including a striker, including a new system with a keeper. Like, listen, I'm I'm saying we should challenge for the league. I'm not about to go say now we should go challenge for Champions League, the league. Win. No, 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 and that'll close the gap. I don't know where the other guys are going to be at, but I think we're going to get about 10 more points. UCL, I'll be happy if we get to the, you know, the knockout rounds and, oh, and we, we like show up. Man, when it was okay. Chelsea, no, no, stop. I don't, know, I don't know who we're going to play. No, no, no. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Well, well, let me ask you one team. question. Let me ask you one no, question, Cam. What's no, your expectation no, for Arsenal in the Champions League? Forget everything else. Champions Arsenal? League expectation for Arsenal. Quarterfinal. Quarterfinal. Minimum. But how can you say you're happy to get to the knockout stages yet just for like so that's meaning round of 16 to me? Because so oh. how much money have you spent? That's the money. less than United or like yeah. similar to United. No, you've spent almost 700 million. million. <laughs> they haven't spent they'll get there, man. They'll get, yeah, but look at the squad he inherited yet yeah, in comparison to Arteta to do. Oh, come on, that squad was that's... also crap. That was also crap, Scott. Nicky, that yeah, squad... would... No, 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 no. Arteta you know, so... with that squad would be so okay, okay, but, but okay, but let me ask you this. That squad f- managed to get Man United the worst, I think, finished place ever. in the history. Yeah, yeah ever. Yeah, everyone yeah. said they were underperforming. <clears throat> no one said that about Arsenal. Arsenal yeah, but- squad was not underperforming. Yeah, but look at the trash that was in the United squad as well. Did United had- win something before Arteta came no. in? Like, wasn't they? Weren't they? No, we were trash, bro. Like, we didn't win nothing. But you won something. You when Arteta came in, yes. That's because he's generational, isn't it? That's a different conversation. Oh, you're about, so, genera- oh, about so, generational. I'm sure you are. Anyways, we're, 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 we're moving, we're moving yeah, slightly yeah, away. But my, my sure point was... I'm pretty sure you are out at some point. This is not... Like, no, no, no. I was okay, not Arteta. so there you go. If he's oh, a generational oh, manager, oh, then you should he, have more pressure. I think I was Arteta well, out, for sure. I know he was. I remember. No, no, right. no go look. Go look. I, owners, yes, I'll admit to that. I was at one point. <laughs> that was a foolish moment of me to do that. But anyways, we're moving away from the conversation. Yes, Arteta is generational, but let's go back to United. And okay, let's so talk about just, Mr. So you just proven my point Pools, then. Have some shame, just, man. Have some you, just proven, you just proved my point then, innit? If it's generational, you should have more pressure then. Let's yes, we up. do. And I put pressure on him. Yeah, but, then you can't, but how can you blame Cam the then? Same pressure he has on to win. Manager he has to win. One year as a team. Like, you cannot put the, the guy's been a manager for a very long time. <laughs> not, for, not with United. <laughs> not with United. Okay, no, 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 no. But he's also he's had, that, what is it? No, no, but he's wow. had he, 400. He was manager he's had by four, Munich B okay. for three years. <laughs> as it currently, no, no, no. But as it currently stands, he's had 360 million, which isn't stopped, by the way. He's going to get more players in. Yeah. So that's going to be like, what, 400, maybe 450 potentially, depending on how many players you bring in. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Right now, so the only thing I would say. Right, right now, no, no, like, no, no. Listen to what I said. I said it's 360 as it stands. But potentially, you know, it depends on if you bring Amber. No, but I think that's going to be 20 something million. So that's like 380. All right. Okay. I thought you said like 40 million. Okay. No, so you're no, talking he's 380. Yeah. 30. But, but you could still get Harry Kane. There's no, there's no. If we get no, Harry Kane, we should win the league. I will say that right now. If United bring in Harry Kane, if that happens, United absolutely have become the favorites to win the league. I, I I'll say that right now. If I Harry Kane, but it's not happening. But if he does come, then yes, United are the favorites to win the league. But Levy's not going to sell, Cam. We know he's not going to sell. So, but he's that's not, a, that, but that is the only world where I will say, like, you, you get yes, you're completely right. You get top. We are saying. We are selling Kane. Kane. Will no, no, but not to a price. That's that my point. Uh, hold on, hold, uh, like 
if Man United come in with a similar offer, I guarantee yeah, I, Sam, you said this last time. He's still for money, Man United. Stay on the free. Yeah. I, if he listen, I'm just basing off. He, he I would love nothing more, and I have said this, person. and I've said this. I'm I'm hoping that we're just sitting, waiting, and seeing Bayern Munich has 95 million whatever pound bid accepted, and then United going here. We'll give you 100. I would love to see that and see what they do. I don't believe that Levy would still turn around and go, you're going to United. I, I reckon think... it'd have to be, if it's a night year, it'd have to be like 120. It'd like have it would to be have like to 30 be something. Million. But to be fair, I don't, if guys, it's between the two clubs, I don't think, I don't think it's up to Levy then, but then it's up to King, to be fair to Wiley. Guys, can we just, can we just go over the notion that just because it's Man United, Carrick's gone to United, Dimitar Berbatov's gone to United, we have a history, Teddy Sheringham's gone to United, we have a history of selling to Man United. The price is right and they can get max value and Man United come in. He will go to Man United, oh, but true. he's not going to go. Gonna As they from, say, the history of the Tottenham. You're not going to come in for 100, 120 million because Bayern Munich are going to get him for 85 million because we'd rather take money from him than not lose him. I hope that's what our club want to do. But let's be honest: if we get to January and he can start talking to people about signing on the free in summer, Bayern Munich haven't got a, haven't got a say in hell because he will stay in the Premier League. It's because. We want to sell and Bayern Munich are the only ones coming in. That's the reason why he's going. If it comes to, it gets a chance to go on the free, Bayern Munich aren't even in the conversation. So, yeah. Do you think because he wants a Prem record? Is that why? Yeah, 100. It's, it's, it's that as well as like it's like he's he's he's, English. English. he's happy, he's saying English. a bit like his wife's pretty much about to drop any time and all that. So, all the extra mm. thing of like flying between Munich and all that, it's just everything's more convenient for him to stay in England. Do you guys but, see him trying to learn another language? Like, it seems like Harry Kane very. British, very like <laughs> gives me that vibe that he's not trying to experience a new culture. Like Snitzel's not for him. Mm-hmm. I think he'll go, and I think he'll be happy to win tr- trophies. But if I'll be, it's just for me. Like I can't get my hopes up on a Harry Kane deal. Like could you actually? Me. Could you imagine if United actually going for the last minute? Could you actually imagine <laughs> the scenes is going to break? I'll <laughs> shave my head. Quickly, my my thing about Man United this season is. You're doing decent business. I wouldn't say it's sensational business. There's no way any Man United fan, uh, like the other occasion if you show me stuff like that, but most of you Man United fans were um, uh, spitting lyrical about Mason Mount before he signed up for Man United. I'm pretty sure loads that I saw were like, yeah, oh my God, he's this and the other. Um, in regards to the young striker, okay, it's good. He's he's good. Uh, he's got a lot of prospect back, but he's got to come in and adapt to the Premier League and hit the ground running. People like Haaland who came in had the reputation of that, and obviously he he looked. looked Darwin Nunes came from another league, like, and he struggled the first season. So if he struggles, you've got to not obviously like um, Gunsel said, you've got to just not run him into the ground and for that. Obviously, help develop him. And in regards to um, Amrabat, again, decent midfielder, got an engine on him. That would be one of your better signs for me because I think he is the easiest to adapt to the Premier League and the way that it, that it works. But you'll improve, but I don't think it's anywhere near challenging for, for me. But, you know, it's not been a great, it's not been a horrendous window, but it's not been as great as I think many night fans are getting hyped about. But it's been a decent window. I'm exactly. thinking organic what, what, growth. What Cam, too, said, sorry, what, Cam, what Cam said is look, the, he thinks Man United can make a step forward. Now, if City also make a step backwards and Arsenal stay, I don't know, more or less, maybe they improve a little bit. Then it mm. just brings that it brings those three teams mm. close together, and then in that scenario, maybe it goes into the last ten games of the season. Who knows what what can happen? Um, I think I think what Cam said about City is absolutely correct. Like th- they are, if, if they kept all their players, then I think they'd be yeah definitely favourites for the league. Establish you know settled team, settled squad, know know their own system, uh, just come off winning treble, no no issues, but. It does worry me a little bit that they're losing so many players. And United have have improved. They have brought in good players. Obviously, these, these players need to integrate, um, but they're all mm. suited towards what ultimately um, Ten Hag wants to do. So you would expect that to then result in an uptick in, in form versus last season. And I expect them to be in... Well, I don't expect them to necessarily win the league, but I expect them to be there with a shout come you know maybe february march time and then yeah see right. what happens if if there are only 13 boys playing c nine boys buying united last season that was ten Hag's first season with players he didn't really want to use okay. then by that logic of bringing in that three four players he wants they should drastically improve 
because he managed to squeeze something out of players who he doesn't really want, like Fred. So that's why I'm saying that you can't <laughs> play the underdog card and at the same time go, oh, yeah, like... I never said we were you know I mean? I'm not saying you can, per se, because yeah. you people have reason, but I'm saying Man United fans are like, they're playing this whole, like, ah, oh, look at rivals bantering our transfers, but at the same breath, they'll be like, our oh, transfers are the best transfers and Hoyland's this. <laughs> Bro, you can't <laughs> both plays. Like, what is it? Are you underdogs or not? I just think I agree with you. Like, I hate when people it. say, oh, I, I don't I don't enjoy when United fans are like, oh, I have to wait and see this or that. It's like, no, let's be honest with ourselves. We've gotten what the manager wanted. We've seen what our manager can do with players he didn't want. Um, like, we saw at times Fred look like a – eight out of 10 player insane like one or two games it wasn't a lot but we saw it right we saw scott play decent we saw players that aren't good look decent under ted hog and no one sitting here none of you will sit here and be like so for now brad is not an upgrade over scott and fred everybody would be like yes that's a big upgrade the fact that and no, no, mick fred is pretty decent i think you should keep <laughs> i think i think the the fact that you look at where we weren't good last year was in those weird away games to teams that kind of sat back on us, we couldn't really break down. Our top six record was phenomenal. Like we beat everybody in the top six. That wasn't what hurt us. And our home record was phenomenal. So where we need to get better is against some of these smaller teams away. And we've added players to make us better in those situations. Like I agree. Hoyland is not going to start in my opinion at, at the number nine spot. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be Rashford for a bit. I think we're wow. going to, well, no, because if you think about it, Garnacho is more than ready to play on that left-hand side. Rashford has shown he's fine through the middle for a bit. You don't just throw a kid into the fire. I think he will have, unless yeah. I could be wrong, I think you'll have five or six games before we see him start. To be fair, he, he started Anthony. He started playing Anthony straight away, to be fair. That's different. He was very, he was very like, he knew him. That was his guy. Anthony is like Eric Ten Hogs. That he's a teacher's pet. He loves him. Like he, I think Anthony needed to be dropped a few times last year, and Anthony Ten Hag was like, "I'm not going to do it." So I think you're right. I think it's a very big, but I think it's a very big difference between an Anthony who is 22, 23, played with the manager before, been in big games, versus Hoyland, who has yes played in the Champions League and he's been great for, great for Denmark. He's only 20 years old. We got to see what he's going to do. So Garnacho is more. A look at this. This guy's an op right here. So he's one of those United fans, <laughs> those United fans who come out here and say, oh, we're, we still don't know what's going on. I can't make any predictions. I don't know. That, like, nah, big up Steph. You know. Steph big up is Steph. a fence sitter and a half. <laughs> nah, big up Steph. <laughs> no, no, I, I genuinely think Ross was Steph is my guy, but he's a fence That's sitter. because he, that, but he said he doesn't want to get – no, no, but he doesn't want to get clipped. That's why he's not saying it right I'm now. never worried about – guys, years ago, I said that Rashford would be being talked about as one of the top, like, uh, forwards in the world on a stream, and I got clipped up. Everyone made fun of me, and then Rashford did what? Dropped 30 goals, carried us into a chili. Nah, like, sometimes you make these claims, and then you end up being right, and it's better. It feels nicer to be clipped up. I'm not afraid True. of being clipped up. But anyway, I want to talk about Arsenal a bit. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed that video on Eagle Talks Football. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section about what you just watched. And also, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, we're on the road to 25K, and let's try to get to at least 30K maybe by the end of next season. And as of right now, I bid you guys adieu. But don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you guys think.